<sighs> Welcome back. My goodness, what a beautiful day. The sun is shining. The weather seems nice. No, really, it does. But can you imagine living on a giant square surrounded by infinite water? Can you imagine that? Doesn't matter if the sun's shining. You could fall off the edge into the endless water, and that's kind of spooky if you think about it. Today we're doing something absolutely controversial. I've been advised to not follow through with this idea, but I do not care. I don't care at all. We're gonna cover the map with Infernal Biome, and we're gonna do what I like to call the Frozen Microwave Burrito, where the entire map is blazing hot, lava, fire, scalding, hellscape ready to burn you at the slightest touch, but somehow the middle is frozen? That doesn't really make any sense now, does it? I microwaved that thing for two and a half minutes just like the packaging told me to. Why is it still frozen in the middle? Guess I'll cut the burrito in half so that the inside is exposed and that way the heat can actually get to the middle, but now I have two halves of one burrito. What if I wanted to eat one whole burrito? for once in my life, and I'll have to cut my burritos in half when I warm them up. What about that, huh? That's stupid. That's dumb. I'm gonna burn my tongue on the outside of the burrito, but the inside is frozen? This is the 21st century. This is 2023. Why have we not come up with technology that can cook the inside of something better? Anyway, I kind of blacked out for a second there. What was I talking about? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. World box. Let's make sure we turn off biome overgrowth, and we'll leave the disasters on. Yeah. Rebellions are gonna be off, but angry villagers are gonna be on. This looks pretty pretty even. It might be leaning a little bit down this way, but that's what we like to call, uh, some, I don't know what we call that. We call that, uh, making it more interesting by adding in a little variety. Okay. I placed people. Oh, they're fighting a snake. Okay. All right. We're going to go 20. I think we're going to start them a little bit on the higher number side because of how dangerous this place is. People from Arizona be like, I don't see what's so bad about this map <laughs> because like, you know, Arizona is really hot. This is what Arizona looks like. I don't know. I've never been. All right. Let's cover the map with trees because they're going to need that. Let's cover the middle with bonus trees. But here's the thing. We're going to give the middle some goodies. In fact, we're going to give the middle a lot of goodies because I really want uh, people to go here. You know, I'd like to see that happen. I think we all would. We're going to kind of go like that. Just kind of a little bit of everything. Maybe just some stone kind of scattered around in here just for good measure. I was going to say fruit bushes, but I guess that doesn't grow in the permafrost. You know, I guess frozen berries aren't a thing. I doubt they grow in here. Yeah, I would have been legitimately upset if you couldn't place them on frozen ground, but you could on like lava ground. So at least it's fair. Okay, what we got going on here with these kingdoms? One of them's already missing four people. Let's give them a little boost there. I'm sure some of them were spawned in, birthed into this world, and instead of making eye contact with their parents, they made eye contact with a flaming skull, and they were like, Mama! It's like, no way, that's not your mom. That's your dad. Let's give these kingdoms a little personality, too. We're gonna, we're gonna be spending some time with them. The Suheti? Pride or doubt? Let's just call them the doubtful. You know, they're like, they're like low confidence. They don't, they don't think they're gonna win. This kingdom is just called up, and I think that's sweet. So we're gonna leave that. We are life in the history. Yeah, they definitely aren't up for learning grammar, but, uh, or just sense. Because this makes no sense, but whatever. Holy Lee, health brings duty. Health brings duty. Am I right? Duty? Duty. I don't think I've ever typed duty before. Okay, Holy Lee. Holy Lee Hole. How about like that? Holy Lee Hole. Let's actually change that. I just said it out loud for the first time and it kind of made me uncomfortable. So we're just going to call them Holy Duty. How about that? In truth, we shine. Light bulb boys. Sorry. Spelled that wrong. There we go. They're shining with the truth for sure. Okay. And I like that they're also kind of like a yellow bright looking color. Actually, you know what? We're adults here. Let's call it holy duty, but we know what we mean by that. All right. Yeah. Uh, if your parents look over your shoulder and see that you're watching a video about holy duty, they're going to be like, what? Okay. The doubtful. You guys are pink. We got kind of like a blue, brown, yellow. We got kind of like a yellow, green, and then purple. I think that's good enough. All right, let's crank the speed up. Let's get this show on the road, all right? So, Infernal, what's it about? What's it like? What does it do? What is this here? What are you doing here? No, okay. Jungle biome. I like that these little cinnamon toast crunch desert things managed to pop cactuses up. 
That's kind of interesting. Okay, oh, I forgot one last thing. It is also the Age of Sun. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the Age of Sun, uh, it's hotter. Like, imagine you're standing on lava and it's like a cloudy day and you're like, man, this is really hot, it's burning my feet. And then imagine the sun comes out and starts scorching you on the head. And then also, I'm pretty sure Age of Sun can spawn little fire sprites. Oh, okay, looks like we got none of them yet, but they can spawn little, like, fireball dudes and fire snakes and fire... <sighs> A heat wave blazes across the land, causing fire in a fiery world. Um, but it's important to note that permafrost, I don't believe, can catch fire. So this is even more of a safe place. So there's, it's not just like, you know, like they're all in Infernal, so who cares? Like, they're all on an even playing field, but uh, if someone can make it to permafrost, they'll be chilling. <laughs> yeah, like chilling. They'll, like, they'll be chilling. You get it. You can't be too picky, all right? I make these videos for free. Okay, holy duty. These guys are doing really well. 58. They're going straight for it. They're almost there. Their territory is stretching just barely into the uh, permafrost zone here. Um, light bulb boys are doing okay, but they're kind of going the wrong way. Um, I'm actually a little bit annoyed at how many spots were missed by this biome. So let's just do one more sweep here. I don't want anyone getting any secret benefits of like finding a little tiny patch of enchanted biome and throwing all their kids on it. So their entire family is all boosted on enchanted magic. Like that wouldn't be very fair now, would it? Up is down in last place. Um, no surprise considering they have very smooth brains and um, the doubtful. Look at this. They're they, they're up there in population, but because they don't believe they can do it, they're like hiding in the corner. They went backwards. They're like, no, we're not going to be able to take permafrost. That's something other people can do, not us. We're not worthy. We can't do it. It's like, bro, no, you can do it. You can do anything you set your mind to. You got to believe that. Don't be doubtful. Show some confidence. I know it's not that simple just to, oh, maybe you should show some confidence. It's like, yeah, well, if it was that easy, everyone would be confident and the world would be a living nightmare. But you got to start somewhere. You got to start small. There you go. That's it. They're doing it. That's what I'm talking about. You just got to make the moves and try to figure it out along the way. You don't got to have all the answers. What are we going to do when we get there? What if it's too cold? Well, you know, it's probably better than what you're dealing with right now. You know, and we haven't even seen the fiery snakes yet, you know? Speaking of which, where are the fiery snakes? We got fiery bees to make some spicy honey. That's where spicy honey comes from, by the way. We got fiery skulls. Okay, we do have the appropriate... Yeah, okay. So I guess just not yet. It must be a random event. I've seen it, though. Okay, I'm not crazy. I've seen the fiery snakes. There's fiery horses and everything. No, really, I'm not insane. No, it's true. I think there was even a fiery wolf. And there was a little fireball with eyes and a mouth and a personality. Okay, we're looking at 120. Oh, the doubtful's down in last place. Or almost, tied for last place with Up, who is now up by 89. Doubtful is dropping quickly. What's happening to you guys? You guys like falling? You're backsliding? You're becoming doubtful again? We talked about this. Sometimes we're all gonna doubt ourselves, but you just gotta power through. You can make it. You're almost there. It also feels like they're kind of scared of it. Like over here, Holy Duty built two villages right up next to it, but they haven't gone in yet. I think that when you live in a world of fire, um, ice becomes scary. I feel like that could be a pretty deep like metaphor for something. I don't have the brain power to come up with it, but you know. In a world of peaches, don't ask for applesauce. Okay, we got our first permafrost people, the light bulb boys, the smart ones. In truth, we shine. They have made it to permafrost. And look at it, this beautiful world they now get to work with. Of course, most of the benefit is up here, so hopefully they can be the first ones to get here. Oh wait, just kidding. The wolves are the first ones there. It's our guy, Woff, and his friend, Woof. I also now see that the uh, ore and everything is like a little bit kind of crooked, like it's kind of up high, but I've got confidence in the light bulb boys they'll get there another heat wave dang that's crazy okay the doubtful is again kind of like doing it wrong they're they like bounced off of permafrost and now they're going down this way no wars yet which is good um oh looks like uh holy duty setting up their first camp in permafrost oh whoa 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 up is now the closest one to the ore and now they're getting killed by polar bears but if they can survive they might get the goods
Population-wise, there's a lot of variety. The Doubtful is in last place by a lot, followed by Light Bulb Boys at 150-ish, up at 160, and then Holy Duty at 278. It's crazy to think that a uh, kingdom could be up by so much without any wars or anything. This is just under normal circumstances. Holy Duty is up by like a hundred without like anything obviously helping them. Oh, they're gonna make they're gonna make a war happen. They are planning a war against who? Light bulb boys. Their neighbors. Oh wait, here we go. Up is here. They made it to the ore. Is anyone actually mining it yet? Or are they just going for crops? You can do this anywhere, right? Okay, well, they, yeah, they're definitely mining the ore over here. Yeah, look at them go. Okay, cool. Good for them. Good to see. That's good because Holy Duty is about to wipe out light bulb boys, I think, and probably get a lot more powerful because of it. But if Up can kind of swoop in here and snag all this, then uh, that would be that will be good. The Doubtful, this would be a great chance for them to attack Holy Duty, but um, they're probably like, I don't think we could do it. Oh, and you know what? Based on what we've seen, uh, they might be onto something. Okay, Holy Duty is working their way through Permafrost. They're kind of taking over a lot of the frozen space here, but they're not really going for the part of it that's good, you know? Also, any fire dudes yet? I'd love to see some fire dudes kind of mix in here. Light bulb boys are fighting for their lives. Yeah, the wars are just better with angry villagers on because the fights actually look like fights but without angry villagers on the army just comes in and kills like three soldiers and then the villagers just flip sides but now the villagers fight back and we love to see it doubtful 200 up 280 holy duty almost 500 but as we've seen they don't have everything at least not yet blazing heat wave dang <laughs> It looks so hot, but yeah, the uh, permafrost cannot ignite. Or I don't know if it can't ignite, but it doesn't spread. So yeah, look, there it is again. Another heat wave does nothing. It's possible that the little fire dudes that are spawning are just getting killed. Oh yeah, like people were just on fire over here, so maybe they killed one of the fire dudes and then got lit on fire. So there's probably fire snakes and horses in here mixed in. No, really, trust me. There, it's it's real. I'm not making this up. Okay, maybe I'm making it up. I don't know. A lot of people just died right there from something. Dang. Oh, up just declared war on the doubtful. Okay, that's interesting because these guys are. Oh wait, I just saw something. Wait, don't do it. Wait, not yet. Give them a chance. They're planning a war against Up. Oh, we're gonna get... I was gonna say, if Up takes over the Doubtful, that might be big enough to fight Holy Duty. But then Holy Duty just kind of recognized that, and they're gonna attack Up while they're busy. And oh no, they're gonna take over the uh, Ore Villages. Look at that. They were just setting up one here. Now under control of Holy Duty. Oh, look at that population dropping, fellas. You seeing what I'm seeing? Oh, uh, look at that population kind of holding. It's kind of going up and down. Oh, wait, they're fighting back. Oh, hold up, though. Okay, I mean, they're kind of doing a back and forth, although I think Holy Duty just has the numbers. So we'll see if they're able to pull this up. But the populations are, you know, I mean, I don't know. It's not looking great for up, but maybe they'll do it. You know, maybe they'll just keep flipping back and forth. If they can take lots of the doubtful and use that against the holy duty then uh, you know there's a chance here but they got to start taking over some regions they keep trying but keep kind of failing and then they keep losing their own so i don't know if we're gonna see a big push from up here but this is kind of do or die right now this is their big moment let's see if they're up for it <laughs> i don't think they are their population is going down very quickly the doubtful could potentially outlive them although what's going on here oh peace talks okay if they can make some peace talks before it's too late that could be good come on boys take over a couple regions before you ally with them otherwise um oh no the doubtful is taking them over come on fellas you can do it i believe in you it's not looking good the king is dead they're kind of holding on though i think that oh yeah doubtful and holy duty are at war i feel like i wish they were fighting in a bigger way this looks like they're just these guys are just getting bullied over here can you leave them alone just for like a second okay they're taking regions they're taking regions but they're losing them instantly yeah holy duty owns like so much of the middle now they've mined a ton of the ore some of the silver and it uh, looks like a lot of the gold Old. So, why is it Age of Dark? That's not in the rotation. Back to the Age of Sun, please. Thank you. Don't let that happen again. Okay, peace talks um, on up, but uh, is up gonna live long enough to get peace? Okay, they're now peaced. They peaced out, but uh, 180 and 160 versus 700? I tell you what, it doesn't look good. It's looking bad. I would go so far as to say. Although, in reality, I feel like I like Holy Duty, so if, you know, if they win, that's cool. I just feel like as soon as someone becomes more powerful, I kind of root against them, you know, because it makes it more interesting. But, uh, yeah, they did really well. They got 
to the permafrost first. They didn't go in first though, but they kind of went straight for it at the beginning and they kind of like waited and built up their own kingdom a little bit. And then once people started going for it, they kind of just came in and took their villages, which was like, you know, kind of efficient. Instead of like building the village themselves, they just like waited till someone else did and then took it over. Also, they just mined a ton of this. Wasn't this just like a bunch of ore here they're going harvest crazy on this yeah there's no way anyone's gonna stop them they're mining oh there they go back to war they mined a ton of stuff what's this village called e dodd has a bunch of materials on them look at all these metals oh no they've got worms yeah they're doing really well for themselves and now they're gonna just pulverize up over here and uh i think i can i think i'm gonna cry I think actually. I think my eyes are welling up with tears for my friends, the up. We are life in the history. So true. Their lives are about to be history. Just like they said from the beginning. The answer was right in front of us this whole time. Pushed up into the corner where they began and now where they will end. Goodbye. Horrible clash of holy duty has ended. And then no nonsense holy duty declares war on the doubtful immediately. And I think that's going to be pretty quick for them to wipe them out. Because holy duty uh, does what it does. They do what they need to do. They do their duty. And health brings duty. Isn't that nice? Okay, 150 to um, 1100. Yikes. Boom. Okay. Well, I think we can. Uh, I think we can figure out who's gonna win this one. GG's. Holy duty. Doubtful. You know, you you doubted yourself. You hesitated. You took a little long to get to the middle. And I think this maybe is the consequences of your actions. I don't mean to be rude about it, because obviously you're being obliterated right now. So you don't really want to hear a speech or anything. But uh, yeah, that's uh, that's what happens. Holy duty has climbed to victory over the frozen burrito and uh, mind most of the ore there's still a good chunk left but you know they made most of it up i feel like had a chance because they got there first they were just a little slow to get to mining and then it was kind of good timing because holy duty kind of came after them before they could build up their weapon supply very much i think is the main thing and then holy duty kind of moved into permafrost really quickly ended up holding pretty much the whole thing for that last war against the other two kingdoms i don't even remember which kingdom was over here do you remember oh the light bulb boys yeah yeah, yeah. so they were they were pretty good too they just were a little slow on the population then they got attacked by the biggest kingdom so they didn't really have a chance but uh you know what they did it right they went for the permafrost so that was cool anyway guys thanks for watching hopefully you liked this may your frozen burritos and hot pockets be defrosted all the way to their core a good day to you smash like if you enjoyed the video and uh, subscribe if you haven't and um you know unless you don't want to then like i guess i understand i guess this video that you watched the whole thing of wasn't very good wow they just cleaned that out look at that two rocks left they don't own those ones. Look, they're out of their zone. Those rocks are in their own kingdom. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Mm, bye.